Hey guys, what's going on? <clears throat> Thought I'd give you a little update what's happening here in the works. Beautiful Tuesday, eh, about 11.30. Just got out of the shower, all fresh and buffed and bluffed. Uh, started a new model. Because we're waiting for the paint on the uh, Rambler 69 dedication build to dry. Um, everything else is done for that car. I'm just like I said, I'm just waiting for the parts to dry. Um, I got the white walls all done. They come out halfway decent. Ooh. They come out halfway decent, the old paint pen, because I wasn't... I wasn't even going to try. 1963, I'm not even going to try. I'm going to hang on to them, though. <laughs> I might even put them in a frame. But, uh, yeah, this is what we got. The old paint pen. So, six tires. Got it all buffed out, fluffed out. Um... So I ended up with, that's the uh, rumble seat cover. The metal come out pretty shiny. Uh, I just got to find, a, uh, I'm going to have to use an enamel uh, clear coat. Because I used enamel paint on the, uh, on the plastic. And I got to put it all together, so. I'll go to, uh. Ace Hardware and get some uh, enamel clear coat. Pro Rust Oleum probably has one. So, come on, I'll take you out back and show you the, the, what we painted. I used the blue that I used on the uh, VW. Oh, God. Oh. Enough said. Oh, man, my back. Oh, of course, the furnace. Right on time, right? Ah. Yeah, so here's everything all painted up. Uh, I'm still kind of sticky. Those little pieces there go in the uh, hood. Uh, the rumble seat back. The rumble seat seat. Uh, six rims. And the front seat. Then we got a bunch of little bits, uh, the horns, the side lights that go up by the windshield, and the rear tail lights. So I'm figuring a couple of days to dry for that. It's still tacky. When did I paint them? Not yesterday, the day before. So that would have been Sunday. I painted them Sunday? Yeah, I painted them Sunday afternoon. No, I'm sorry. I painted them yesterday morning. Yeah, they got painted yesterday morning. So, I'm thinking probably Friday I'll touch those. Let them dry nice and good, get nice and hard. Oh, I'll put you back on the desk so you're not all wobbling around. Oh, man. The old heating pad on the back. Good God. So, anyway, I started a new build. <clears throat> I was watching uh, some videos and came across uh, RC UK scale models over in uh, England, Great Britain, England, wherever the lad's from. And uh, he was showing his that he had just built and I had had one in my stash and it was something quite different and I said, you know what, why not? So, uh, this is what I'm pulling out. This is what we pulled out. The Ferguson T20. Farm tractor. Um, I've got uh, a good part of the motor done, engine done rather, I'm sorry. Um, this is a kind of... Uh, this all starts with the big engine block and you build everything right onto that. Um, it came with four sprues, 
Uh, you get six tires, the two big ones, and then you get uh, two different sets for the front. You get a different choice. Um, two different seats you can put on it. Two different exhausts. The way the exhaust mounts, either a low exhaust or a high exhaust. Um, there are a couple of other options, too, I believe. I can't think of them off the top of my head. But uh, so far, I have... And these are just marked up. I have, yeah, I'm going to paint them. They're not going to stay this color. These are the two rear tires. Two nice rubber tires, too. Really nice rubber tires. And then the... Uh, oh, man. And then you get the two different sets of front tires. So we either can use these, you can either use those, or you can use these. Let me see if you can see the difference. One's got tread, one doesn't. These were the ones that were used most of the time, the ones with the tread. So. Let me just put the other ones on. <laughs> just to be different. We'll see. We'll see. Although I kind of I like the way that the ones with the tread look. So. But we'll see. Yeah. So a uh, nice kit. A hell of a kit. Uh, no flash on this thing whatsoever. I have absolutely come across no flash on any of this. Um, so far the directions have been pretty straightforward. Um, it's been going together nice. I got some of it marked up here now. Uh, some of it is together. Some of it's marked. I'll see if I can pick it up without dropping the shit that I got marked up. This is what we got marked up so far, guys. Um, the whole front of this is all just hanging on there. Um, I'm going to make it, hopefully, so that the so that the front end swivels like it's supposed to. Same thing with the uh, three-point hitch that goes on the back. Hopefully we'll be able to make that move too. Uh, I'm going to try to wire it. Flathead four-cylinder. So I'm going to try to wire it. There's a nice distributor right there. I mean, there's plenty of place to wire it. The coil's right next to it. Um, battery sits up here where my thumb is. So we're gonna. I'm gonna try to wire it. I found a wiring diagram online. Uh, the fuel tank with the filter in it. But I found the wiring diagram online for it. So, oh, oh, oh. And so, hopefully, we'll be able to get her wired up. So. I'll do as much as I can. I don't want to overkill it. You know what I mean? I still got uh, still got the Constitution to work on. Pull that out. I'm so supposed to be warming up here by the end of the week, up into the 60s. And Saturday, they're saying close to 70. So my nephew's already had his motorcycle out. He went out Sunday. Him and a bunch of his buddies went out Sunday riding. Too much sand out there for this old guy. I still got to register mine. Mine's not even registered. Send that in this month, this week. I get my check Friday, so. But, uh, yeah, but that's what I've been working on. I'm um, thinking of painting it the uh, green. The whole track, they're all green. Well, not the whole thing, but, you know. Instead of the gray or the red. We'll see what happens. So... Anyway, all right, running out of time. I'm rambling now anyway, so a few seconds left. Guys, have a nice day. Be good. Be safe. Peace out.